My name is Christina Mancuso. I am a pancreatic cancer survivor. May 18th of this year, I went to the hospital for the first time because I was having chest pains. I thought I was having a panic attack. The pains had uh, been going on for several days and I had had a panic attack before and had the same symptoms, but it wasn't going away. And I was also having pains um, in the very center of my abdomen. Um, so into the hospital I went, all prepared for them to tell me I'm having a panic attack and just to go home, drink lots of water and get some rest. Um, they ran all kinds of tests, everything came back normal. I wasn't having a heart attack or a panic attack. They did find an enlarged lymph node in the center of my abdomen where the pain was. Um, they didn't know why it was enlarged or what could cause it, but it could be so many different things. So they sent me for a follow-up visit with a gastroenterologist. Um, I went, I spoke to the doctor, told him everything that was going on, and he set me up for an endoscopy. It's all ready for that appointment for them to go down and just look and see what could be causing this, why it was inflamed, um, but I never made it to that appointment. I ended up back in the hospital a second time. I was driving in the car um, and uh, I got a sharp shooting pain straight through my abdomen. It felt like somebody took a sword and just stabbed me straight through. I called my husband, hysterical, um, drove myself to the hospital, he met me there. Um, the pain was not going away, and uh, it just kept getting worse. So they ran so many different tests. Um, my husband was in and out of the hospital that day because um, our kids were at home, and uh, so he kept going to check on them. They had no idea I was in the hospital. They thought I was driving for Lyft and Daddy came home early. Um, so, as I sat there in the hospital waiting for tests, my husband called me and he said, how are you doing? I said, I'm doing good, I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna be fine. I'm just waiting for them to come back, stay with the kids, there's no reason for you to be here, there's nothing you can do, and uh, you have work in the morning. And that was June 15th, a month after my first visit. And the doctors and nurses came in, it was about 10.30 at night, I had been there for hours waiting for tests. They did CT scans, which came back inconclusive. They did MRI scans, with and without contrast. And they came to me, and I told my husband, I'll call you when I have the results. <clears throat> so, as I sat there, and they told me that my MRI came back with a mass my pancreas. They didn't know what it was, but it was most likely cancer. My heart sank. Here I was in a hospital by myself because I was going to be okay. And Everyone around me, doctors, nurses, asked me if I was okay. And I said, yes, I'm okay. I'm going to be fine. I will go to my doctor and we'll figure it out. They told me to sit there and get myself together. So I did. And I got in my car and I called my mom. And she spoke to me the entire way home. It was a 
very scary moment. I could have cancer. And it was on my pancreas. 5% of people survive pancreatic cancer. Only 5%. How could I be that lucky person? It was impossible. But I got home and I woke my husband up and I told him. And we sat and we cried together. And it was it was hard not knowing for sure what it was. So for the next month, I had to sit and wait. They set me up for a endoscopic sonogram with um, a biopsy, or for the biopsy. And I had to wait several weeks for that appointment, which is a very hard thing to do. But I did it. I came out of my biopsy um, which was on July 5th. July 5th, I had my biopsy, and it was cancer. They didn't even have to wait for the results to come in. They knew, after going down and looking, that it was cancer. They didn't know what stage or how long it had been there. But that's what it was. So I set myself up for a second opinion because I, I guess, because that was my only option. I needed to know what, what it was I needed to do. What kind of fight was I going to have? So. I set up for a second opinion at Sloan Kettering in New York and I went to that appointment and they set me up with all kinds of scans still didn't have any answers for a while of how bad it was and if I was gonna survive it but they gave me hope a lot of hope and sometimes that's the best thing you can have is just hope that it's going to be okay and you're going to make it through it. So, I was told by them that they could do surgery and take it out and it would most likely be gone, but they didn't know if it had spread anywhere else. So on August 18th, I had surgery, and I am now cancer-free. I survived it, and I thank God every day that I survived it, because it was scary. I'm still here, and I'm not going anywhere because I had the best doctors and I guess I caught it early enough. I had a rare form of pancreatic cancer that most people don't have. I got lucky because that's what it is. Because 5% of people survive pancreatic cancer. I'm one of those people. And I'm so happy. And I want to thank everybody that was by my side. My husband, my kids, my parents, my brother, my sister, my entire family. Friends. People I don't even know were by my side praying every day that it would be gone. And I believe that because of them, it is. I am a pancreatic cancer survivor 
my fight was short and I'm so happy for that I still have recovery ahead of me but I'm gonna be okay and I'm gonna be here to raise my two kids and watch them grow up because they're too young to not have their mom and I'm too young to not be here you just have to always remember there are people out there that care and they will do anything to make sure you're okay and that's what I had everybody around me making sure I was okay and I made it through surgery sucks <laughs> but I'm still here and I'm stronger for it.